Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com In this video I will be comparing three Honeywell Wi-Fi or smart thermostats that are really big sellers. The Lyric T5 versus the RTH 9580WF versus the RTH 6580WF to make it simpler and quicker, I will refer to these thermostats as the T5, 95 and 65. This video contains a series of easy to read comparison charts and each chart contains a small set of features that compare these thermostats. All in all, over 50 features are compared. The video is split into different sections that are easy to move between using the headings in the description below. Those sections are basic specifications, design, power and connection, screen and audio features, smart heating features, energy and weather, HVAC compatibility, remote access, home automation and ratings and review. In order to keep your attention and to keep, to keep the, midi, the video moving at a good pace, I will not discuss every detail of every feature in this video. These charts will be part of a very detailed written review at mysmarterhome.com and in order to keep the video brief, only the most important points will be highlighted. So let's get stuck in. Section 1 is basic specifications. As you can see, I have the three different thermostats going down the page and the different features going across the page at the top. Obviously all of these thermostats are made by Honeywell, which is one of the biggest companies in the heating world. The 65 was launched at the end of 2012, whereas the T5 was launched in the middle of 2015. All of these thermostats are quite old for smart thermostats. What is interesting in terms of weight is how much heavier the 65 is than the other two thermostats. The 65 as the oldest is also the largest. And the final feature is the price. Obviously prices are subject to change. There is quite a range on prices. The 95 is currently double the price of the 60, 65 at $178. All of these thermostats come in one choice of colour, which is very common in smart thermostats. And they are all made of plastic. All of them need to be powered using a C or common wire. Lots of heating systems have a C wire, but if your system doesn't, then there are workarounds that will mean that you can still use any of these thermostats. The 95 and the T5 have two year warranties, but the 65 only has a one year warranty. All of these thermostats will connect to a 2.4 GHz Wi Fi network which is what the, majority, the overwhelming majority of, of us have at home. The screens on these three thermostats are very different. Whereas the T5 and 65 are backlit, the 95 is full, is full colour. The T5 and 95 are touchscreen, whereas the 65 isn't. And I could only find out specific details about the resolution of the 95, which is 320 by 480 pixels. None of these th thermostats have a proximity sensor, which would wake the screen up when someone comes close. Nor do they have built-in microphones or speakers, as the latest Ecobee 4 has. In terms of energy and weather features, these thermostats are lacking a bit. None of them provide energy reports or are, or are equipped to send maintenance reminders. I could not find any specifics on the possible energy savings of the T5 or 95, but the 65 claims to save you up to 33% on your energy bills. The T5 and 95 do not provide weather forecasts. Sorry, the T5 and 95 do provide weather forecasts, but it's only via the app. The next section is all about HVAC compatibility, and it's the same for each thermostat. HVAC stands for Heating, Ventilation and Cooling. They are compatible with an overwhelming majority of HVAC systems found in US homes. They will work with gas, electric, oil and dual, dual fuel systems. 
The thermostats will not work with millivolt or electric baseboard systems though. All three thermostats can work with multi-stage heating and cooling in conventional or heat pump systems. They work with humidifiers and dehumidifiers. Moving on to the programming and scheduling features, all of the thermostats need to be manually programmed. They don't have an auto learning feature like the Nest thermostat has. The T5 and 95 can be programmed via the unit, online account or the app. The 65 can only be programmed via the unit. Each thermostat has a 7 day program. The 65 can be programmed with up to 4 activities per day but I am not sure about the number of daily activities for the T5 and the 95. None of these thermostats use room sensors and only the T5 has geofencing built into it. Geofencing is the ability of your smart thermostat to be controlled by the location of your phone. It is an invisible boundary that you can create somewhere in your neighbourhood and when that boundary is crossed your thermostat will either turn on or off. Remote access is simply the ability to control a thermostat without physically touching it. And so you can be on the other side of the room from the thermostat or the other side of the world. All three of these thermostats can be remotely accessed via apps or browsers. For iPads and iPhones, your device needs to be running iOS 9 or later. To access any of the thermostats on a smartphone or tablet that is running Android, you need version 4 or later to be running on your device. You can control your thermostat via your Total Connect online account as long as you are using a fairly up-to-date version of Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome or Safari. Home automation is the ability of smart devices to work with other smart devices. All of these thermostats have almost the same home automation compatibilities. The T5 will work with the Apple HomeKit system whereas the other thermostats won't. Otherwise, these three devices work with IFTTT or If This Then That, Amazon Echo and Samsung SmartThings systems. To finish the video, we will look at the ratings and reviews that these thermostats have received on Amazon. What I've tried to show is some of the most helpful statistics. To state the obvious, these numbers will change on an almost daily basis, but I think the overall trends that these numbers reveal will not change that much. These numbers show that the 95 and 65 are incredibly popular thermostats, with a 4.2 and 4.3 respectively overall rating. They both have a huge number of reviews written about them. The 65 has lots of questions over 7 100 answered about it, which is a really good sign. The 95 and 65 do have a high percentage of reviews that rate them as only one star, and ideally that number should be about 5% and not 10 and 11%. The T5 has really disappointing figures. Its overall rating is low at 3.8 out of 5. The number of written reviews and questions are also low. It has a very low percentage of 5 star ratings and a high percentage of 1 star ratings, which is the wrong way around. And that's it. Thanks for watching this review. I hope that my comparison of these three Honeywell thermostats helps you. If you have any questions, please ask me. If I've made a mistake, please tell me. Or if you have any ideas for my next review, let me know.